Hi, I'm Artifax Mars. Get kids out of the room. We've got an emergency to talk about, and I don't have time to restrain my tongue. I really don't have time to do videos, but under the circumstances, I'm going to do one. Get the kids out of the room. This refers to an article in Washington Times. The FCC uh, wants to put people into newsrooms, people from the government, sniff out news to uh, see exactly what uh, they're saying and all that. I'll bring up the article on Washington Times, read a little bit from it. Got kids out of the room? Good. From this point on, the language gets nasty. The Obama administration is pushing forward with a Federal Communications Commission project that would send government researchers and newsrooms across the country. And First Amendment advocates want to know why. Yeah, I would, I would definitely think they'd want to know why. I would think they would be infuriated with this fucking bullshit. The touted purpose of the plan is to identify and understand the critical information needs of the American public with special emphasis on vulnerable, disadvantaged populations, FCC said. Fox News reported. That's unbelievable. They have no business at all getting involved with the news. The reason you have a free press is that the people need to be able be able to report on what the government's doing and what other people are doing as well. They have to be able to report everything within reason that the government's doing. Because our forefathers knew that it was a free press that was charged with keeping track of what the government is doing. Uh, government watching government corruption, watching everything that they do. They have to be watched. But at least one FCC commissioner, Ajit Pai, wrote an op-ed piece for the Wall Street Journal that suggested that the notion was more aimed at giving government ent entities the ability to grill reporters, editors, and station owners about how they decide which stories to run. Yeah, no shit. They want total fucking control over the media. That's what it means. Mr. Pai continued, Everyone should agree on this. Government has no place pressuring media organizations into covering certain stories. Yeah. You're right, Mr. Pai. Uh, that's P-A-I, in case you want to know. I'm assuming that's Pai, Pay. First Amendment and government watchdog organizations were quick to agree. The FCC seems unable to keep its hands off news media for any extended period of time, said Jeffrey Eisenach visiting scholar with American Enterprise Institute, Fox News. It is the same generic concern of needing a news nanny to make sure we're all well informed. It's worse than that. Among the questions to be studied, how news organizations select stories and the frequency with which broadcast outlets report on critical information needs. Fox News reported. The sur surveys will be voluntary, but Mr. Pai said the definition of voluntary can be rather subjective. No shit. Uh, you can turn it down, but we'll shut you, take your license if you do. Participation is voluntary in theory, he wrote in his op-ed to the Wall Street Journal, but the FCC's queries may be hard for the broadcasters to ignore. They would be out of business without an FCC license. 
The project is reportedly due to kick off this spring in Columbia, South Carolina. This is an extremely troubling and dangerous development that represents the latest in an ongoing assault on the Constitution by the Obama administration, said Jay Sekulo, chief counsel for the American Center for Law and Justice, to, in Fox News. The federal government has no place attempting to control the media use, using the unconstitutional actions of repressive regimes to squelch free speech. Well, gee, does anybody out there honestly believe that in the Soviet Union you had a free press that was free to report on the government's actions? Does anyone out there honestly believe that the Nazis allowed a free press allowed people to report what was going on, allowed them to report what was going on in the